Hey guys, it's Drew here. Um, doing a little arts and crafts here. Uh, it's my Halloween costume. Um, <clears throat> dressing as uh, Sandy Lyle from uh, Along Came Polly. If any of you are familiar with it, if not, it's all good. Uh, it was Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, and uh, he's playing basketball. He's the guy who sharts in the movie too. It's kind of a funny character. So uh, I've never taken on a project like this before. Um, so I went to Joanne Arts and Crafts. And, uh, you know, I got, got myself a, a blank tee. I actually got this at Kmart. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, a jersey or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I got it for like six bucks. So uh, I was trying to figure out what to use. Well, Joanne Fabrics, I bought a couple things. They sell this um, matte paint. This is, I guess, the stuff they use for screen printing on shirts. Um, I bought some stencils. Here's this. You know, I, I just taped them together, basically. Um, the stencils were like three bucks. They come in a three or four bucks. They come like that and you have to pop them out. Um, I don't know if those are the best for t-shirts, but I'm getting by here. Um, anyway, so when I, when I actually, uh, use this, I also use this, uh, acrylic marker here. This is what I actually used instead of the matte paint. And, uh, it turned out kind of pinkish instead of white, but I didn't know whether I wanted to go through all the trouble of actually putting all this stuff on. So... I may just stick with the acrylic marker, but this is uh, this was like seven dollars a deco color acrylic marker, and it does harden. And it actually goes through the shirt. So when I started doing this, I did not think about putting something underneath there. As you can see, I just did a screen print there. See how it bleeds through? Definitely want to have something underneath it when you're doing it. Um, otherwise, it'll print on the front of the shirt too. So. Uh, Anyway, I thought I'd just post this and show it, um, and then it's it bled a little bit on the side, so I took an indelible Sharpie, and it actually looks incredible. I just outlined where it bled over, and it's great. And then you have these little spaces here where the uh, um, R is put together in the stencil. You can just fill those in if you want, or you can just leave them that way. Um, so, so far, so good. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried uh, painting on a t-shirt. You know, I know a lot of sororities do it where they just use that glitter glue or whatever. I want it to be a little more authentic looking than that. So that's why I use the stencils. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, so like I said, you can either use the uh, the matte paint that you buy at uh, Joanne Fabric or, you know, you never know, Walmart might even sell it through a stencil. Um, or if you're just writing on the shirt, one of these acrylic markers. I don't know how this would machine wash. We'll have to see. But this is going to be just for Halloween. So as you can see, I taped together the letters so that they wouldn't move while I was uh, painting down also. Um, and then there's there's another thing you don't think about. See the, the eyes? The stencil set only comes with one eye. So what I did was I put together the letter reigns first and then the letters let. And luckily the I and the T are only used in different rows. So I took the I and the T after this dried and put it up here. Um, so anyway. All right, guys. Well, um, you know, I don't know if this is helpful or not, but I've always kind of wondered how you write on a T-shirt. And, uh, you know, I might, I don't know, we'll see. I think the pink's all right. I didn't really want pink, but this says you're supposed to do like two coats. And then one coat and then wash it, let it dry, and then another coat. It just seemed kind of complicated, but I would guess you basically would just squirt this on and, uh, you know, put it, you know, yeah, squirt it on and just kind of smear it on there and uh, let it dry. And it's a lot thicker. It's probably more like what they use in the shop if you pay to have it done. So, uh, well, anyway, guys, uh, maybe I'll post a, a video of what I look like in my finished costume. I never really show myself in the videos, kind of like hiding behind the camera. <laughs> um, I actually do look quite a bit like Philip Seymour Hoffman. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, I don't know if it helped you or not, but my channel's kind of become a blog, sort of. Just fix it stuff, cool stuff I do around the house. So, uh, you know, subscribe. Um, me a thumbs up and uh, I guess you could share this if it helps somebody out um, on Facebook or, or Twitter or anything like that. Um, all right guys well um, if you have any questions you can just post them or if you want to know how the costume uh, turned out post it in the comment section. All right this is Drew guys have a good one thanks.